Hey, this is the Great Lugia with part 11 of my Pokemon Region Adventures go through. So, we just got the first badge, forget what it's called, and now we're going to start traveling north up to the next city, which I believe is called Hayward City. Yes. And there are a lot of trainers here. I don't use repels at first, basically because I'm wondering what Pokemon there are. So here's a double battle with a couple of twins. Charmander and Squirtle. I send out Charmeleon and Kadabra. The levels are probably a bit low because you could go here to battle before fighting the first gym leader. So if you're having trouble, you could come over here and train. There is a part, I think, where you get stopped, but there are a lot of trainers up till then. And basically I get a crit there. Didn't matter, I don't think. And so... Just moving, moving. Here's a... Spiro. Nothing useful. And so just run away. And here's some trainers. And so, basically, here's a battle. Yeah. I'm kind of tired, so... Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Pidgey. Then I use Ember, one of KOs. I get another crit, and at that point, I'm uh, wondering why I'm getting so many crits with Charmeleon. But then I remember that I put the scope lens on it. I forget if this was a crit, too. Yeah, this was a get crit too. Three crits in a row. So I was really shocked. But then I remembered the scope lens. So, that certainly helps. Only time that won't help is if I'm battling a Pokemon I want to catch. Hopefully that won't screw me over anytime soon. Or ever, hopefully. Here's a Geodude. I send out Charmeleon. I use Metal Claw, which I'm pretty sure was a 2 at KO. Yeah, to a KO. Uses defense curl, doesn't matter at this point. And then, I oh yeah, I just use Ember in case Metal Claw misses. And that's a truck. And so, gain some more experience. Level 18 now. And basically, player defeated Hiker Clark. And that whole ha 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 thing, I remember that from, um... Red, blue, yellow, green, fire, red, leaf, green. And then the same guy was possibly there in gold, silver, and crystal in Kanto. And then here's a Voltorb. An alright electric Pokemon. Not gonna use one. And here's another trainer. Because the thing is, I forget which way um, you go to get there. Because I thought the cave led to the next city, but it turns out it's just a dead end for now. So I was a bit confused. And then Rhyhorn uses Horn Attack. Charmeleon's doing enough damage. Hoping for a crit here, but it doesn't happen. He uses Tail Whip, even though it's going to die next turn. Just use Metal Claw again. I'm really glad they gave Charmander Metal Claw. It, it, at least now it has something to counter rock types. Probably did it because with Brock and Fire Red and Leaf Green. Because in Hoenn and Sinnoh, the first gem leaders, are also rock types, but... They um, what you call it? But both of the fire types from the O's generations evolve into part fighting types, so they tried to make it a bit easier. But if you went up against Rock with the Charmeleon in the originals, you were sc you were screwed. Yeah, and like. The original red and blue, you'd have to catch, like, a Caterpie and raise it to a butter for you just to do damage. Which wasn't fun. Although yellow did help 
a fair bit. Because you got the two Nidoran. They learn double kick earlier than in red and blue and green. And then you also get Mankey, which is really useful. They did keep Mankey in fire red and leaf green, which is good. Then I realize that's the right path, so I go uh, and investigate the cave. I probably should have started using repels here, because all the Pokemon were repetitive, but I was wondering if there were any rare Pokemon. It's really hot here. Hmm. Another Voltorb. Valtorb. I forget what level Voltorb learned self-destruct. Probably in the 20s. Another Voltorb. Doesn't seem like the place for Voltorb, really. I mean, just in the middle of the wild. Doesn't make much sense. Granted, that's sort of how it was in red, blue, yellow, fire, red, and leaf green, but that, at least there it was near a power plant. And in a power plant. Then here, there's a ton of boulders. You need strength to go anywhere. So I'm just checking to see if there's an, a path. or And then... I remember hearing there were Cubone here, though I'm not going to use one. Doesn't matter, though, since I didn't find any. Just Diglett. Then I have to use Amber. Yeah, again, Diglett have weird noses, I just realized. I don't think they had that originally. They have Bozo the Clown's nose. Oh, yeah, there's an interesting Pokemon here, Mankey. For a bit, I consider using one, so I just use Scratch, but then I decide against it. There are better fighting types out there. I mean, Primeape are cool, but I prefer Machamp. And so, just going back to where I was. And here's a Bellsprout. Nothing really. Good. Ugh. Yawning. And then here's another Voltorb. Yeah, again, I'm really tired, so I'm sorry if this is kind of boring. But all that happens really are a couple of trainer battles. Actually, this trainer up here is interesting. There's probably a hidden item to the left, but I'm too lazy to go there. Kirby! 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 You are challenged by Pokemaniac Ashton. Pokemaniac Ashton sent out Jigglypuff. That's not a Kirby. That is not a Kirby. Doesn't look like a Kirby. Granted, they're both pink puffballs, but that's it. Kirby. So are you saying Kirby doesn't belong here? Lies! Oh, lies! Then here I'm just checking if there's any letters. Then there's nothing really. It's the same stuff. At first I don't realize it. You can actually stop at any time. Didn't realize it at this point. So I'm just doing all that soon. Whatever. Then here's a per... Oh yeah, here's a berry. Prism bear. Persimberry. I agree, that is a bit disturbing. Then here's actually... Actually, I talked to her after. Then here's this interesting building. There's a lot of people... I think this is based off of that building in Celadon. I forget what it's called. With all of the people. And then the designers also. And then here's May. Then I talk to her again, because that doesn't sound like something May would say. It sounds like something some random NPC would say. Not a big character. Oh, sorry about that. Meeting room. <laughs> Hooray for perverts! Perverts are good for your hygiene. Whatever that means. And here's Cool Boy Man.
I never really got that in the original games. I mean, I see what they were going for, but it's kind of odd. You, cause you, you also see people playing Game Boys, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advances, GameCubes, Wii's. So it's sort of like a giant paradox. Oh, and here's the end. Bye. Um, bye.